welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see, I'm joined with a very special guest. I'm here with Mark. Hello, how are I'm you? I'm so excited. We've wanted to film for ages, haven't we? We have. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. And I thought, what better video to do than just a mukbang? I love watching mukbangs mm -hmm. and we both love McDonald's. So we literally just thought... I feel like... Do you, do you live on your own? No, I live with my mum. Okay, so I feel like, <laughs> this is going to sound really deep, I've already gone them so deep, <laughs> on. but like living on my own, having someone to watch eating, it's like really is comforting. It like it, yeah, it's therapeutic, but it's also really comforting to, to watch someone eat, and it feels like I'm not living on my own. Is I that really? That. <laughs> yeah. I've never thought of it like that. I've just exposed myself to being very lonely <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> I love that. And we also filmed a video over on Mark's channel as well. I actually tried all the foods that I don't like mm. <laughs> and the fish. Honestly, make sure to go and watch this video. I absolutely love his channel. So I'm going to leave all oh. the links down below and everything. Thank you. So you guys can go and check it out. But we're literally just going to sit and have a chat. So I hope you enjoy mm -hmm. and let's get started. Can I also just say, you yes. absolutely smashed that. What the? On my channel. Oh, thanks, babe. So proud of you. I literally tried so many foods. Yeah. I'm blindfolded. I'm blindfolded. <laughs> the fish was the worst. What's it called again? Roll mop. Roll mop. <laughs> I'm never going to get over that. Never going to get over that name. Honestly. It doesn't sound great, does it? I would never guess it's a fish either. Roll mop. No. I, I thought it was a utensil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you pass us the roll mop oh, out the, um, the drawer? It does. It does sound like that. <laughs> yeah, where did you even try it? My but, mum. Oh, really? I get all my weird things from my mum. It's so weird because all the foods that I hate, Mark loves. Yeah. Like, it is literally like, we were trying to think of foods that you hate. I love our little chat about the gherkin, though, in the burger. Oh, yeah. So you, you won't have it soberly, but you have it when you're drunk. I ain't got time to pull it out. I ain't got time to pull a gherkin out of my burger <laughs> when I'm drunk. <laughs> I just don't know. Maybe. Right. Are you ever in a restaurant and you see something on the menu and you're like, absolutely not? Mmm. Mmm. What have we got to say? I'll tell you what I don't like. What? Coriander. I've never tried that. Oh no, you don't want that. Is it the little, is it green? It's like a leaf. I think I know what it is. They, like they put in some sort of um, curry dishes sometimes mm. and you have this banging curry and then you'll just have like a leaf in your mouth. Oh, I hate that. And it just ruins it. They always put it on top as well, don't they? <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I get they're trying to do it for presentation, but. I prefer that though. Really? I prefer to see it, throw oh, it away, yeah. then have a little, like really enjoy myself. And, and then bind like... it in your mouth. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. Literally, <laughs> a lot of people were like, how did you two meet? Okay. And I remember, but I don't know if you remember. Was it a hello world? No. I think we did. We walked past each we other at hello, yeah. It was like, hi. So we were going to the dressing rooms at hello world. Yeah. Um, but we probably met at the Brit. At the Brit. Because <laughs> I was drunk. <laughs> do you remember what I told you? Yeah. We still haven't talked about that, have we? Have we? <laughs> no. I'm going to update you after. Okay. But basically, I was really drunk and I and I started telling Mark that I'm going on this date tomorrow. I was drunk as well. Yeah, you I was drunk as well and we just ended up talking about boys. We were just talking about boys for so long yeah. and then I realised what I told you when you sent me a message the next day saying hope your date went well and I <laughs> saw it and I was like, are you kidding? Was I, like, no, we were I was like, but when you said it, I was like, oh my god, I yeah. remember now but like, I didn't remember when, I, like initially when I woke up in the morning. Yeah, we spoke for a while. Mm. I think we like we stood up speaking and then we had to sit down because we like, down, the, we the so convo was so heated. <laughs> and I remember you showing me a picture of him, and I was like, "You go get him." Honestly, it was so funny. Mm. And you messaged me the next day and hope your date went well. I was like, "Oh god." I love that. It was so cute when you were mm. sure, I was like, "Oh my god." Yeah, because we um yeah I remember seeing you at Hello World and Hello World was just too it chaotic. Was actually, yeah. yeah. I might have like commented on a few photos, like your photos or your mm. or your on your channel or something. You can always start like a good friendship from that sort of chat. Boys and drama and Perfect drama. Like icebreaker. Yeah. Being drunk is great. <laughs> so don't I'm encourage like, it. Yeah, but... I'm not encouraging it, but it's great. <laughs> but like I don't I didn't see you at the Brits, that's the thing. Yeah, I didn't see you at the actual Brits. I, I was working a lot. Like working on like the presenting or doing socials. Yeah, I did the socials for it. That was it. Um but yeah, I thought when we were because we saw some of the performance. So I thought we would have been put with um other YouTubers. Were you in Alfie's box? I was on the tables. Oh, you Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> were you? I was on the table. Naughty, how was that? It was insane. Dangerous, no wonder you were drunk. <laughs> <laughs> You've got all these people, like, I literally take one sip out of my drink mm. and they're there with a note, like, oh. putting it up to the top and so, like, it didn't look like I was drinking, mm. so I was just like, woo! But it was like... That's so bad. That's one thing with events. 
which is equally amazing. So grateful for, and can you stop? <laughs> because I will die. Literally. Like, you'll have one sip and someone's pouring it in, I'm like, oh my god, calm I'm down. Like, oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you I so really much. I need to stop now. Yeah, because I'm so British, I won't say no. Oh, neither, I can't say no. I'm just like, yeah, 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 it's fine. Yeah, just like, like alcohol poison me, just do yeah. it. Because <laughs> I came back the other week, it was like a really late flight. It was like three hours from Malta, and I got in the mm. cab and hit this man's aircon. It was quite cold, and he put his aircon on so, so harsh. <laughs> That's all I can describe it as harsh. Was it like freezing on your face? It was freezing. I had my sunglasses on because my eyes were like drying out. <laughs> but I just couldn't say, can you turn it down? Look, I, I feel like I'm quite confident. I could be like, hey, how are you, blah, blah, blah. But if I feel like in a situation where I'm dying, I'll just let it happen. <laughs> like, because you know what I mean? Because I just like, oh no, just like, let me freeze it down. <laughs> the other week when I was in LA, similar thing actually. The guy, we were on an hour, an hour trip and all the windows were down. <gasps> and we kept all putting them up and he'd put them down again. No. And in LA it's warm, don't get me wrong, but like when you're on a motorway, mm. every single car in the windows, every single window in the car is down, my hair's down, you could only imagine the situation that's going on. Get whiplash. I yeah. couldn't even see because my hair was over my face and I was going, guys, everyone's going, guys. We're, looking, <laughs> we're all looking at each other like, what is going on? Literally. And especially if you're going for like a nice little photo shoot as well. We don't want to be like bloody haystack. I paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> I love LA. I really want to go. Maybe you need to go. We spoke a lot about it, didn't we? We spoke a lot we, about we spoke, it. I suppose we spoke for like an hour before we actually filmed. Yeah, we did. <laughs> it was like motor running. What star sign are you? Libra. You a Libra? Are you a Libra? I'm a Libra. Are you a Libra? That's probably why. That why. I'm so into my star signs. Wait, when's your birthday? 18th. On my 13th, 25 days apart. Woo! No, I love that because <laughs> I was in like a shop the other day, and you don't when you just talk to someone, you just you know there's something about them, and I'm really into my star signs. Like, anyone. oh yeah, like, do you read your horoscope? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Every day. Yeah. yeah all every apps. day. Every day, there is something negative that I read, and I'm like. Literally. But I take it really personally though. Mm -hmm. So when I read it, I'm like, oh my god, I need to like get that person out of my life. Or... Do you read it at the end of the day or the beginning? Mm -hmm. See, I did that. Mm. But then I started actually relating it to all the situations. And if it says something was going to happen, then I'd kind of make sure it would happen. Right. <laughs> Do you know what I'm, no, but I'm like, I, I believe in it so much. Like some days it's so off and then some days it is so accurate, mm. it's scary. So I've stopped myself from reading it in the morning and I read it at night and I'm like, oh Before my you go in bed. That's a yeah. good idea. That's a very good idea. Because I would literally wake up and read my horoscope. Mm. Like, okay. Oh, this is so embarrassing. I love it. When it's like, when I'm like dating, mm. or when I'm like... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I like, like someone. I always read my horoscope and I read theirs. So I'll tell you the most embarrassing thing. So I really like someone for so long. Like when I say long, I mean years. And for oh all this God. time, I was matching our star signs together. Turns out I got the wrong star sign for like seven years. So when they told me, oh no, I'm actually a blah, blah. I was like, oh no, you're not. You're this, you're this. And they were like, no, 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 I'm that. And I'm like, I'm, I'm my whole. My whole relationship with them that never happened was a lie. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got the wrong star sign. Because I was reading it, I was like, that's that. Okay, they're acting that way because of this. That is so mean. Yeah, I'm so bad at it. Like, mm. I, I like three other ha friends that I can count on my hand believe it as much as me. The rest are so mm. skeptical. Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah, do you? Oh. Have you ever seen one? Or do you think you've seen one? I felt one. You felt one? Mm. Like, not on my body, but like in the room. Do you feel like you're being watched? All the time, mm. especially living alone. So yeah. I went ghost hunting for my twentieth birthday. <laughs> That's so cool. I want to do that. Do it. It's great. Just don't go with skeptics. Okay. Yeah. Because it can dampen the mood. Yeah. You want to go with people who really. Yeah. Believe. You, like I, I would say, like a really nice small group of people who really believe in it, so mm. you can all bounce off each other. And obviously, some things are going to be made to like because it, it's more of an event, isn't it? But if you truly like, I would never do a Ouija board. Mm. Never. Neither would never touch one. There's certain things I wouldn't do. Yeah, I definitely recommend doing it with like a few people who enjoy it. Where did you go go hunting? Like, do you just go to like a house or like what do you do? So it was like an organised event in this abandoned prison in Kent. That's really cool. And it was a really fun night. Like my friends who didn't really believe in it, we did have a laugh. It was a laugh. But we had to sign a waiver before we did it. Like, if you die, it's not our fault. Like, genuinely on the contract. <laughs> I literally rang my dad and I was like. Oh my gosh, why is that in this? Like, uh, like, if you die, it's not hard. Like ringing my manager, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> As if. Mm. Oh, that's really cool though, I want to do that. Yeah, you should do it, we should mm. go together. Buy little torches. Yeah. I love energy with people. 
Me too. So I really, really hone on on people's energy. So when someone's like enjoying something, I enjoy it mm -hmm. as much as them. So if we were to go ghost hunting, we'd be terrible. I would love it. Yeah. We would be awful though, because if we like to hear that noise, <laughs> did you hear that? Did you feel that? Did you see that woman flying? Did you see that little light? That's a ghost. Yeah. That's my great aunt. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I said in a video the other day that I really want to do like a, um, not like a fortune telling because I don't want to know anything about my future, but mm. you know when you go speak to someone they can tell you about your personality? My nan does it. Oh my god. Would your nan be in a video? Yeah, my nan's in All Alive. She used to do YouTube a couple of years ago. Oh my god. My nan, she does Reiki mm. and oh she god. does like all the tarot cards and everything, but she can tell you about like your personality and everything. Like it's so crazy. I won't tell her something that happens and then I will talk and she'll kind of tell me and I'm like, mm. oh yeah, that happened. And she's like, yeah, I know. Oh and I'm like, oh, that is so crazy, but I love it. Yeah. But like, I'm a, such a believer in the whole like spiritual realm. Yeah. And for me, I think it's like a comfort thing as well. Mm -hmm. Like I really like the fact that like I wear this, this ring that snapped the other week, which is really sad, but I've worn it all, all my life and it's for my great aunt. And I feel like she's my guardian angel. So I always wear it. And the fact that I haven't worn it, I have yeah. to wear my granddad's ring because I like the idea of like someone watching over me and like having that like, comfort from it. I'm the exact same. I have a little Buddha in my bag that my mum bought me, and I will not go anywhere without it. And I was when I was in LA, Byron found it, and he was like, "Anna, what's this?" And I was like, "Oh, don't worry." And he was like, "But what is it?" And I was like, "It's just something that my mum gave me. Like, yeah. I have to keep it with me. If it's not with me, I feel really uncomfortable." Yeah, I'm like that. I'm like that with my asthma pump as well. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> like, I never have touch wood, like a full blown asthma attack. Yeah. But if I go out without my asthma attack, um, um, <laughs> if I go out without my asthma pump, I do feel like I'm gonna have an episode. Mm -hmm. So I do worry about that. Another topic as well. Mm -hmm. I haven't really got a strong opinion on it yet, but Instagram hiding likes. Have you heard about it? Yeah. What do you think? I mean, do you follow in the throat? Yes. So she did a, a really like cool thing because obviously Instagram has changed it. Mm. Like, I could be sitting next to my friend who's just uploaded a photo and I'll be on Instagram and I will not see it for like 20 minutes. Oh yeah, me too. So I feel like that's really bad. Like we, like sometimes when people were like, oh there's so many ads on this video. And it's like a 20 minute video, I have one at the start, one at the end and two in the middle. Yeah. Like if it's like 25 minutes. Yeah. I feel like that's okay. I wouldn't yeah, mind it too. personally. If someone's having a go, I'm like, I've got to pay rent. Like if the brand deals are not happening, I've got to pay rent. This is how I earn my money. With Instagram doing that, I feel like we will still see the likes. So in terms yeah. of getting like brand deals, is how it was. Yeah. It, it should be okay. It should be fine. But I don't know if that will hinder people actually liking like, it. That's exactly what I mean. Do you know what I mean? Is. Because I feel like when you see a picture on Instagram that is getting loads of likes, you tend to double tap it. Mm -hmm. Or like, I don't know if that's just my brain thinking, oh, like it. Yeah. But that, I don't know, it's really weird. But like, now that you're not going to be able to see it, I feel like people are going to forget to like. Yeah, they're going to feel like they're not going to like. Yeah, which yeah. for someone who doesn't do social media, pardon me, sorry, as a job, mm. isn't necessarily like a problem. But yeah. like, do, I don't know, do brands just look at our, like, I get, well brands can't even look at our Instagram to see likes now, they'd have to ask. So, so yeah, they have to ask. So if I was like doing something with the brand, they'd obviously contact our managers yeah. be like, oh, what's the engagement like? We have peak times now, we yeah. have certain hours oh, that would do yeah. better. And because of, obviously like we have, we're so lucky that we can call this our job. We're in a space now that we, we have to rely on it. Mm -hmm. And I know, I know it's like honest truth. So with them taking it away, I feel like, I don't know, if I wasn't to see likes, I don't know if I would immediately double tap it, if I wasn't to see it. Me too. There's a lot of countries that have done it though, isn't there? It's, I, I saw a list this morning actually, Australia, Italy. New Zealand? New Zealand, I think. But does that mean if you went there now on a holiday, would your likes be taken away? Interesting. Because I know that Chintzia, Sophia and Chintzia was in Italy right now, so I'd be really intrigued to see whether she can see her likes or not. Oh my god, I should message her. Yeah, I thought I only to message her and be like, can you see your likes? I'm really like interested. Yeah. I know this is really bad, but I always look at everyone's likes. Mm. Like as I'm scrolling, I'll see how many likes the picture's got. Mm. So the fact that it's going to be gone, is going to be really weird for me. I think it's going to help a lot of people. Me too. Because I feel like it's really hard because on one sense, you must know people that buy their likes and followers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Believe me, I know. So I think that is absolutely awful and fraudulent. Me too. Um, I could ha do a whole video on that. Since Instagram's changed, a lot of people who are not in the know will, could take it as a personal attack. Oh my God, I'm losing followers. Mm -hmm. I'm losing likes, this and that. And people who, if it, who have been on the platform for so many years and are noticing a decrease, mm -hmm. that could really affect them. And I, think, and I think that is quite sad. And I feel like it's just about, it could be the same as getting a redundancy or mm -hmm. like a, something like that in a, in a 
different job it's all the same i think it's also crazy as well how numbers on a screen can affect us and someone so much i know i know i when people buy their stuff I'm like, why? Why, yeah. Why are you shooting all this content for fake? Mm -hmm. There's no one there. Literally. So it is for show and that really terrifies me. But once someone who was have decided to buy the light to see what it was like, and they literally, so they bought, I think it was 5,000, mm. and within 20 minutes, the phone was blowing up mm. with all just random accounts. And all these accounts are like, I can't explain They're it, like bots, like, aren't they? Yeah. No, but they have no profile picture mm. or nothing. They've just got like a random, like loads of letters as a username. Mm. And they just come through in like 50 at a time. And I'm like- That's not satisfying. It's not satisfying because you know they're not people. Yeah. And like, so, imagine like, what I find weird, when I watch someone's story, mm. who I know has fiddled about, who are you talking to? Yeah, I know. Like, obviously, I follow you. Yeah. And I know a handful of people will, but when they're doing like massive meetings and big brand deals, I'm like, yeah. uh oh, how? God, that's a big topic, isn't it? And another one as well. Have you heard about Area 51 and all the stuff that's going on? No, but I've seen a lot. Okay. I've seen it a lot on my explore page. Obviously, everyone, all the speculation, aliens. I'm not gonna lie, I love aliens. I thought I have such an interest in it. I just like that whole like realm of stuff. I think it's up to like 700,000 now. Are signing a petition to go and raid Area 51. Oh, I don't want to get the date wrong, but sometime in September. Oh my god. <laughs> um, and literally just saying they're gonna run like towards Area 51 and get in. Yeah. And like, realistically, how are the government gonna stop that many people? The government put out a, like a statement. Is this saying, real? Yeah, no, it's fully real. It's pretty real. Oh, I don't want to get involved. And they in actually that. do have the right to shoot you because people who have tried to break in before have been shot. Have been shot. Yeah. Are people just signing it to say they're signing it? I'm like, how many people are actually going to turn it up? Yeah. If any, people want to know so badly what is inside. Like they were, the government were like denying Area 51 for years. They were like, it's not a thing. It's not a thing. And then mm. finally, like I think it was 12 or 13 years ago, they were like, okay, it's a thing. And then and they just said it's a secret base. Okay. And I'm like, I want to know what's in it though. Yeah, I'm intrigued about that. Like, well. I'm like, have you got UFOs in there? Have you got little aliens in there? Yeah, I swear there was a horror movie called Area 51 or something. There is, I've seen it. Mm. It's really good. Yeah. Anything that has that, if you're, if they're willing to shoot you. I don't know if I want to know that bad. No, I don't want to know that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's not life risking stuff. I watched the YouTube video about it. Literally. <laughs> I watched the Shane Dawson doc. <laughs> Literally. He's, He's got a new one, one, isn't he? Coming out. Oh, I thought it'd come out. Oh, is it with Jeffree Star? I'm not sh plumbing. I'm not sure. Because he hasn't uploaded for a while, has he? He hasn't uploaded. I washed that. Thank you so much. Right, okay. Maybe we've spoken for so long. Maybe it's like three days later. <laughs> like, Hi, is the Area 51 right yeah. <laughs> So camera cut off at some point, but we're back. Sorry. Um, we were saying that we love Shane Dawson love and Shane that Dawson, yeah. we're going to start a documentary on him. Mm -hmm. um, if not us, Netflix, get on it, please. Can you actually imagine? It's like MTV and Tanner's documentary. Have you watched the first episode? I haven't. She's bonkers, isn't she? Yeah. Like, she is full on, like, don't care. No. Nah, I like that free spirit. As long as she's not hurting anyone, she's not offending anyone. Mm. If you're a free spirit, there are, like, my uncle's a bit like that. Mm. He's very free spirited. Yeah. Like, gets on well with everyone, just lives life as well. Yeah, why not? Yeah. And MTV is like a crazy channel anyway, so it fits. But you know what's crazy? On MTV's channel, they normally get about 80k views. Mm. This got 4 million views in 24 hours. Fudge you know. How insane. So if I obviously I can, I can imagine they're gonna actually turn into a show, yeah. which is insane. Like I was saying, so I saw her on a billboard when I was in LA. Yeah. Like, can you imagine just driving by and seeing yourself on a billboard? I'd love that. Me too. I don't know what I'd, I'd be like. I'd be like on a throne and have someone like feeding <laughs> grapes or something. Me. <laughs> what is she on? Yeah, I'll call in one hand. Yeah. Um, what's it? Tequila rose, tequila rose McDonald's in the other. Literally. <laughs> Brussels sprouts on the floor. <laughs> what's your favourite meal to cook? I like a good pasta. Me too. What sort? Of? Look at this. Oh, sorry, I'm leaving like halfway through. But I found these in, in Home Sense the other day. <gasps> Love Home Sense. It's a great. And this. Is that blue pasta? Yeah. Oh. And does it just taste like normal pasta? I haven't tried it yet. Because I asked the guy who I was buying it off of. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> Like drug dealing with pasta <laughs> um, at the counter, and I was like, "You sure you can eat this? It's not for decoration." He was like, "No, you can eat it." I was like, "I'm oh, great." That's so cool. Mm. You just let me know how that tastes. We'll do. I've got a little love hearts one. Do you love love? Yeah. I love love. I love love. That's a Libra trait. That is literally. Do you like Halloween? No, me too. I'm more excited about that than Christmas. Me too. I don't know why. I just I love my horror films. I love like decorating the place. Like, have a... you seen the new Annabelle? No. 
I haven't seen it. Is it good? Yeah. I watched the first and second one the other day and The Conjuring's. It's unbelievable. I watched it when I was in LA. Yeah. Because the cinemas there were just unreal. Yeah. Like beds. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god. Like you literally lay down and then you can order food to your seat while you're in bed. Never. I don't want to go to cinema back here now. I'm so was sad. Was it expensive? No, $15 for a ticket, Ooh. which is like kind of same price as here. Yeah. Um, and it was unreal. Is it scary? I thought it was. Well, it's more jump scares. Yeah. But like, they were good jump scares. I really want to see it. You need to see it. Because I love all that sort of stuff. Do you, do you see The Nun? I think I did when it came out. Yeah. I can't really remember. It wasn't though. that great. No, it wasn't that good. Because I love The Conjurings and I love Insidious. Insidious, and that's yeah. Like, I remember that going to the cinema to see that first one. And I literally yeah. pooped my pants. What when you saw it, yeah. it is scary. Because I don't like watching trailers, even though I, I always tell myself like, oh, I'm not going to watch the trailer. I don't yeah. want to spoil anything. I watched the It one yesterday. The number two? Yeah. I haven't actually seen that yet. <gasps> have you seen the first one? I've seen the first oh, one. Oh, okay. You haven't seen the trailer. Oh, okay. Trailer. Yeah, it's really good. I was going to say, you've got to watch It. So good. Have you watched Stranger Things season three? Watch the first episode. Me too, but I haven't watched anymore. Yeah, it got way laid. I do want to see it though. I love, I love that the whole 80s vibe. Me too. If there was one era, it would be 80s. Do you think? Mm, I love like the clothes, I like the music. Mm. It just seems a lot more laid back and chilled. But imagine like Instagram, mm. back in the 80s. Oh, anyway, like them photos would be bomb, I swear. Yeah, that <laughs> But apparently, like I haven't, obviously haven't watched it and I'm doing really well to avoid spoilers because I don't know how I haven't found out the ending. Yeah. But I know that two people die apparently. What strange things? Like main characters, yeah. Oh my god. And I don't know how I haven't seen it, so please nobody comment it because I don't think I want to watch it in time. Yeah, because that's the thing. What was I watching that I didn't like? I, I, because I didn't watch Game of Thrones. Oh, I haven't watched it. Yeah, I've never watched any of Neither, it. Neither, but everyone wrote on about it. But I was like, how do you have Twitter and mm. not know? So that's what the thing, I, I wouldn't be able to watch something like Game of Thrones. Because I, I, ne I, I can't even stick to Love Island because I always miss it. Are you caught up now? I'm caught up now, yeah. What are you thinking about Michael and Amber? Michael and Amber, I feel honestly she should mug him off. Me too. I don't think it's right for her to take him back. Like like I said, but then that's the thing. We don't know what it's like to be in there 24 hours. Yeah. Personally, I know Love Island's got a lot of stick because have you ever seen the unseen bits? Yeah, they do it on the Saturday. And don't it's they? so much better. It's so much better. Because <laughs> it actually shows them having fun and mm. they're not following the main storyline of like, are these two gonna get back yeah. together or like yeah. So I feel like if that was mixed and we got to see like a sort of the funnier side of Michael, I'd think differently. Because he's seen like come across very serious and aggressive, the main, and aggressive in the main episode. And he's a Libra. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that? Did you Google it? <laughs> I didn't Google it, but I, when he first met Joanna, they had a, co a conversation. He's got like a oh, Libra. Right. <laughs> it's like me. It's like, what is this Love Island's star sign? No, when he first met Joanna, they had a chat about it. Oh my god, yeah. that's hilarious. I actually thought for a second that you Googled all their stars. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. You see a conversation, you're like, oh, they yeah. must be Scorpio. They must be that. But I can guess. I can guess. That's why I asked you yours, because I was like, really? I'm getting a vibe. Do you know like all the different traits of the star sign? I know Aries. What's, right. what's that from? You don't know. Because I'm like, we get on best with Aries. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm going to find out what's happening. We've spoken about it so many times. Mm. It's so bad that I don't know. So the most compatible is Aries for Libras. And dating wise, it's Aries and Gemini's. But that's mm. interesting, because that's a Leo. Okay, so my sister's a Leo. Okay. So um, so there is like an obviously yeah. bond. And this is very vague, guys. This is yeah. very vague. Yeah, like I just love, like, I know a lot about Leos, Aries, Scorpios, Pisces, and um, Libras. What, what Zoe? She's an Aries. She's an Aries. Yeah. Okay, you know a lot about Aries. And yeah, my, one of my other best mates is an Aries as well, so. I don't know what my friend's star signs are. No, no staff's a Leo, but I need mm. to find out. Yeah, I mean, it's just thing. Like, I, I, my, my friend um, turned up at bowling the other day and he gave me, I got you a present. It was like a book about Libras. I was like, it's even. Oh my God, I love that. It's though. very worrying that I talk about it a lot. I just love it. It's just one of those That's things. So, I feel like I can spot another Libra though. Because mm. I do know my own traits. So I'm like, if I see it in someone else, I'm like, oh yeah, you are. Yeah, right. that's why I asked you. I was just like, this time, it's very like calming, funny yeah. thing about you that I was just yeah. like, mm, okay. Because I, I think it, because when you turned up, I was just like, because you, like, obviously I know you're lovely, 
when you meet people that you yeah. watch off offline, you never know. Oh yeah, of course, you never know what they're gonna be like. No, you never know what they're gonna be like. You can be put in a situation where you meet your idol YouTube fan. Like, I I'm still a fan, like, I'm a fan of yours. Like, Oh yeah, I'm a fan of yours <laughs> like, as well. So when you meet them, yeah. you just never know. And there's that famous phrase, never meet your idols. Right, so, yeah, because um, I know I've definitely met people that I'm like, oh, they weren't what I thought they were gonna be like. So when I first started, I made a video about when I went to this party, it was right. very much like, hey, YouTube I'm, party. yeah, my first yeah. YouTube party, you had to have a thousand subscribers to get into the YouTube space. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of those old ones. And I was just like, I met all these people that I watched. I was like, and at the time they had like 40, 50K, which yeah. is still a lot. And I was just like, hey, I'm Mark, blah, blah, blah. And it was like clockwork. Hi, yeah. how many subscribers do you have? Yeah. And I was like, <gasps> I cried. I literally cried. I went home and cried because <laughs> I was like, this is, my life is over, everyone's horrible. Something very similar has happened to me. I have heard, not naming names, that someone won't even talk to you unless you have a million subscribers. Never met the person, so I don't want to judge before. Yeah. But I've been told it by three different people who's tried to ask this particular person. Yeah. And I was like, really? I, th that's another thing. Like rumors do get spread, and they have rumors to come. They have so to come from crazy. somewhere. I like to challenge rumors. Me too. So if I hear that about someone, I'm going to be like, hi. <laughs> yeah. If I hear it, I'm like, but I need to try it myself first before I believe it. Yeah. You can hear so, like so much drama and everything in the YouTube industry, but I'm like, yeah. I don't want to hear it secondhand. I want to hear it from that person. Yeah, and I think that's really respectful and nice to do because obviously, like things have been probably said about you and stuff about me that are not yeah. true. So I feel like to give benefit of doubt, if like more than two people are saying it. Yeah, but it's in, oh, it's horrible, isn't it? In the end, I'm just kind of like, you know what? I yeah. don't even care anymore. No. When we're 60, we're not going to matter about that. Yeah, literally. We're going to have like, oh, I just couldn't. Do you ever think what you're going to do in like 10 years oh. if YouTube's not here? If, yeah. I want to go into party planning. Oh my God, I love that. Yeah. Like a party planning or like wedding planning or all of it? All of it. That's so Yeah. Cool. And maybe not weddings because I'm quite scatty. Right. So okay. I feel like working with someone who wants it, because I'm, I'm not a perfectionist. Right. Okay. So I'm very like scatty. So like if someone was like, I need this to be that, I'd be like, oh my God, no, yeah. fuck you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but if like it was like an 18th or like a 21st or a 30th. I can imagine you would throw a banging 18th oh, for a 21st. Thank party. you. No, I would love to do that. I think that's so cool. Because mm, I used to do that. it at uni all the time. Really? Yeah, I used That's to like cool. have all the themes. I go on eBay, get the bun in now. I love that. I love a themed party. What about you? Honestly, like this dream's out the window because like I've said it so many times, but I really want to be a spy. <laughs> out of all the things, all the professions in the world, I did never <laughs> expect to say a spy. Or like a full on Basil the Great Mouse Detective. <laughs> or like... Like... Just an un someone undercover who, like, you can't tell people necessarily what you do. Mm. You have to make up like a fake job and everything. Like an alias. Yeah, just like a spy. Yeah, a spy. I love that for you. I'd love to be a spy, but like, <laughs> I've read so much about it, and like, you more actually get scouted. Okay. Oh, oh. I've literally read so many stories mm. of like people who are like ex spies, and they're like, I was literally walking along the street, and they've been watching me come up to me, okay. and I'm like, because you, you can apply, mm. and like, I've known people who have applied, <laughs> but like the process has kind of like put me off because they've gone through like the process, and then they start doing like tests on you, and they take strands of your hair, and they like start following your friends and family. Oh my god. And like it's very like full on, and mm. I was like, oh, that's quite a lot. But like, can I thought? Okay, I thought I'd been followed once by a spy. Right. Because so I was on the train to London, mm. and I noticed this girl. She was about I was more of a woman. She was like twenty nine thirty. Had followed me all the way from the bottom of my street to the train station, which is a good ten minute walk. So I thought, well, she's just going the same way as me. She gets on the train. There is every seat empty. Mm. Every seat. And she come and sat next to me. Bearing in mind there was at least 40 seats in this carriage. I thought, okay, well she's obviously just wants some company, I don't know. Yeah. So I'm sat there, I've got my earphones in and she taps me. And I was like, hi. And she was like, hi, you okay? And I was like, yeah, you. And I was thinking, do I know the person? I was like, shit, I've met them and I don't remember them. Mm. And she was like, yeah, I'm good. She was like, I just wanted to chat. And I was like, okay. And I, I'm the type of person that would be like, okay, that's fine. So I just take my earphones out. And I yeah. was like, how are you? And she was, she told me her name and I can't remember her name. And then she literally jumped straight into it. She was like, so do you believe in conspiracies? Oh no, I don't like that. And I was like, what conspiracies? And she was like, just like government conspiracies. And I was like, 
yeah like i read quite a lot about them like 9 11 and like everything like that i'm really interested in it and she was just like grilling me and then she was like would you ever want to be a secret agent and i like in my head i was like oh my god this is my time like i've been watched and then i was just like yeah like i love you she was like but the process is like really hard like i know people have gone through it and like they do all this and that like naming me and i was like i was trying to play it as though this is actually happening and i was getting scouted i was yeah. like that doesn't phase me at all that doesn't bother me and then we just carried on talking about it and then about five minutes before we got into london she got up and moved and then she followed me on the tube two stops got off and then we parted ways and i literally rang my mum straight away and i was like mum I don't know what's just happened, but I feel like I might have just been spoken to by like. And this was literally a week or so after I put in my video that I wanted to be spy. Oh my god. So I was like, that is very interesting. But then nothing came of it, so I'm like, obviously oh, so it didn't fit the criteria. But I just thought it was really weird. That's really like, weird. Like really weird. Because I know someone who has been scouted like that. Mm. And I was like, what the fuck? Did you do that? I heard that as well. What was that? That sounded like my door. Just oh, yeah. as we were talking about that as well. Like, Go spies. <laughs> everything's breaking in today. So like scouting for spies is like new scouting for models. Apparently so. Like I'd much have. prefer to be scouted as a spy. I think you're too well known though. I know, that's the only problem. <laughs> like I couldn't do any secret missions or anything because someone could see me in the street and like, oh my god, I'm on the stage. I'm like, no, I'm on mission. Yeah, but I feel like you could be like, what's the word, like a charmeleon. Like you could rock a loads of different hairstyles, a bit like Killing Eve, but not actually kill love people. To do that. But then sometimes I feel like it might be better to have someone who's a bit well known because people wouldn't expect it from them. Oh. Okay. So, if anyone's watching out there... Mm, what do spies do? Just... You know what I mean? They just get given like secret missions and stuff and like, you must follow this person or, and like every spy has a spy following them. I know so much about it. I love that! <laughs> so... I never thought that! I want to be a party pan, I want to be a spy. I want to be a spy. <laughs> <laughs> right, that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed just sitting um, sitting here watching this chat. Yeah. I've really enjoyed it. I don't know what the hell we've spoken no, about. No, me, but I feel like we could have gone on for a long time. Literally, we've spoken about everything. <laughs> but make sure to go over to Mark's channel oh. and watch his video. I loved filming it. And if you want us to film again, then please do let us know. Because I would love to if you're down. 100%. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. And I will see you very soon for a brand new video. <laughs> Bye. Bye.